Hello everyone. So in this session, we will configure LAM, which is LDAP Account Manager. So as we already installed LAM in our machine, so we will connect LAM with an open LDAP server. So for this session, we will create a profile, and in particular profile, we will add an open LDAP server. So as I already mentioned, LAM is used to manage user group and domain of open LDAPs. So this is my terminal. If you will type cat pdc red hat release, you will see this is 7.3 machine 16.11 release note. Okay. If you will type netstat hyphen tulpn, you will see open LDAP server is working on this server, which is work on 389 port. So, what I am doing is I will configure LDAP account manager in same server, and I already installed it. If you will see where w html ls you will see the content of ldap account manager just go to web and type the ip address of server so for that i'm using command ip hyphen addr this is my ip now go to browser paste now enter so it says please enter the configuration and create a server profile so before accessing and connecting open ldap server with ldap account manager we need to configure the setup for ldap account manager so for that just click this lamp configuration now it just prompt you edit general settings and edit server profile so first i'm just clicking click this edit general profile setting so the default password for open ldap ldap account manager which is lamp small so it just asked me to change the following settings security setting password policy so i'm not just changing anything i'm just changing the master password so i'm just giving some card password so it will change the default password which is lamp to a new password okay your settings were successfully saved so after this changing the password of ldap account manager now go to lamp configuration now we will set up profile okay so default we will set up a default profile in which our open ldap server will present so just click edit server profiles now it says no server found please create one so for that click manage server profile so i'm just giving some name for my profile for my open ldap server so open ldap server i'm using this get password now add now it is asking me for master password so the default password was lamp so i just already changed the password in edit general settings so just give the new password okay don't so it just prompt me here so i am in a i am in this profile so i can just edit some changes so as as i already say that in this server i just set up this open ldap server so i am just putting ldap account manager in same server so localhost now domain name give dc which is my open ldap dc local choose the language time zone So I'm just clicking some tools, hidden tools like this, 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 this tool. Select as per you need. Profile like this. Okay. So our CN is that 
Teldap ADM, which is a admin user. DC open Teldap local. Now just go to account type people. Just give name DC name open Teldap. Local open and local. So everything is good. Now go to general section. Check. Okay. Now save. So your setting were successfully saved. Now it says no default profile set. Please set in the server profile configuration. Now go to LAM configuration, edit server profile. Now it is asking me for password. So don't go here, just go manage server profiles. Now it just change default profile. So just press OK. Now it is asking me for password. OK. Now go back, login back. All set. So one thing in this, uh, if you will go to this LAM configuration, edit server profiles, manage server profiles, you can add multiple servers here. Server one, get password. So what does it say? It says I'm giving password. It just gave me another profile. So in this, I can add another open LDAP server. So basically, LDAP account managers gave me a way that I can use multiple open LDAP server in particular, like web panel. Okay, fine. So I'm just canceling it. Now our default profile is this. So this is my open LDAP server. If you will go to serve. Terminal now go to location where our open lab server is present. SLDP you just go to this location LS CN clear type LS. Now go to OLC database to hyphen HPD HDB dot LDIF. Now you will see entries for my server open lab LDAP admin and there's a password. Now clear. Okay. Now, now type set hyphen tulpn. You will see our open LDAP server is working and port 80 in which our LDAP account manager will work. So now go to browser. Now I'm just I will I'm, I'm just giving a password which I set for open LDAP admin user which is my LDAP ADM. Now type password. So before just giving a right password, just try to give a random password. So we will check if we give uh, access or not. So it is saying wrong password username combination. Please try it. now. I will give a correct password. No. So you can see it just gave me the access of my open LDAP server. So you will see, you can see that I just created when I just installed OpenLDAP server, it just uh, I just created a test user open path. You can see here. Uh, you can create any other, another test user when you just install OpenLDAP. So it will show you here that the user present here. So you can manage any user groups. You can check the tree views here. See DC OpenLDAP DC local DN, which is this is my admin user or you group there is no group present so it is not showing uh, like negative positive sign so there is a user present in open in people so uid this you can click here you can change anything you can manage users group anything in this LDAP account manager and you can manage like multiple 
open LDAP server using this LDAP account. So I'm just creating. So before creating any user, I'm just creating a group which will be added for that user. Okay. Now click new group. <coughs> like if uh, I'm just creating a user regarding web server, so I'm just typing HTTPD group name. Now save. It will set everything. See, I'll have operation successful. Now create groups. See, HTTP users give GID, GID number like randomly as it sets in OpenLDAP server. Okay. Now go to user. Now click new user. Now create any user open path one. Uh, it's just asking me for address, contact data, which, will, which is no need. Now Set password, red hat, red hat. Okay. Now go to Unix. Okay, so it just put that user in a primary group which is my HTTP. You can create multiple multiple group and it will ask me for to add the whether the user will present in which primary group. So just save it. I'll have operation successful. Now go to users. See open path one. So just click open path user, which which I just created when I when I just installed open lab. So I'm just checking the uh, like entries. You will see uh, username, common name, UID, GCOS. Now go to server. Now type command. Hyphen X, which is a prime uh, simple authentication CN open path hyphen B DC equals to open LDAP DC local. Now enter. You can see uh, G cause I just created user at open LDAP. It means it is reflecting changes there. So if I just already created open path one, so I will use command here. Type LDAP search hyphen X uh, open path one hyphen B DC open LDAP comma DC equals to look now type in you will see okay sorry uh, <clears throat> Sorry, I just forgot to mention here. Uh, we need to type C and equals to open path. Now you can see it is show me the content of that user. So this is for today, guys. Thank you.